Any fool can find businesses that are worse. There's plenty of sweaty betties out there. Okay, but you need to measure yourself against those who are better than you. Not in everything, because they won't be, but in some parts of the business, they will be, and you need to measure against them. So let's talk about the competition. Know your competition. And your competition is any business that offers some or all of the services, treatments, products that you offer. So we tend to think when we think of um, competition about other salons, other clinics. But it is actually any business in, in the high street or off the high street that offers some or all of your offering. So yes, you've got other um, beauty salons, day spas, residential spas, nail studios, but you've got department stores, you've got chemists, you've got the likes of Superdrug. Okay, they are also your competition. You are also competing for the money in my wallet against a new pair of shoes, a dress, a holiday, Christmas at that time of the year. You are competing for my money. So when I say know your competition, it is vast. It's not just flossy up the high street. Talking about flossy up the high street, what skincare range is she using? What waxing products is she using? How long do her staff stay with her? So what's the longevity? What CPD training do they do? Why are you better than they are? What are their opening hours? What are the parking facilities like? How clean is it? You need to know that about your immediate competition. You need to know why your products are better than their products. Because trust me, as a potential customer of yours, I'm doing my research too. So know your competition in the broadest sense. And when you are researching your competitors, we find ourselves getting quite stroppy. Oh, well, I'm much better than that. Oh, yes, I, I do this and I do that. It's through the eyes of your customers, as I said just a few minutes ago. Everything is viewed not by your eyes, but through the eyes of your customers. So again, you need to do some more research here about your competition. You d probably don't know how your offering rates against the offering of your competitors. And this is where a specialist sort of research comes in. It's called spying. No, I'm a marketer. I'm, I must be serious. It's market research. Spying. You can learn an awful lot by sitting outside a competing salon. So you're there with your trilby and your collar up. Oh, what time do they open? What time do they open? Right. Notepad. How many clients are they getting in in an hour? Oh, five. Right, okay. How long are they staying in? Oh, it's five. Oh, they're in an hour. Oh, they're probably having a fairly reasonable treatment there. How many are coming out with bags? That denotes sales. That denotes ching-ching in the till. What time are they, what time's everybody finishing? What do the staff look like? Are they the sort of staff that come, come outside with the, the dreadful denim jacket on or the big baggy cardigan a light up their capstan? I don't think they even sell those anymore, but whatever. Their cigarettes outside with this pool of smoke pervading through. There's an awful lot you can learn by sitting outside a competitive salon and seeing what they are doing. Not least of all, um, the amount of clients they're getting through per hour and through per day. I suppose we could be really silly and say, a lot of them came out with fringes like that. Oh, they've had a facial. Okay. I've just had the 10 minutes winding up. It wasn't so much that, but... Uh, so we'll, we'll move on. I did say this was a whistle-stop tour. 
This is not a course. This is a taster of what our marketing training is about and indeed what marketing is about. So know your competition spying. Don't do what I did and send your mother. So I want you to go to this salon and come back and tell me what it was like. So I said, what was it like? She said, oh, it was lovely. I said, what were the girls like? Oh, lovely. I said, what was the treatment like? Oh, it was lovely. After that, I gave her a, a checklist, not to fill in there, but to give the marks out of 10. So don't send your mother unless you've got a well drilled. Okay, so you have your own strengths and weaknesses. What are their strengths and weaknesses? You will probably be too well known, but send members of your staff as mystery shoppers to their salon to have a treatment. What was the ambiance like? I, I've got a thing about toilets. It's not a fetish. Any psychoanalysts amongst you? I've just got a thing that if a toilet has thick toilet paper, not a slightly damp hand towel, but everything is clean, I am presuming everything will be of good quality on the trolley. Exactly the same as I do in restaurants. If there's a dirty toilet, I'm out of there because I can just imagine what the kitchen's going to be like. Okay? So get your, client, your, your members of staff to go. It's a perk for them. Brief them on the information you want them to be looking for and debrief them when they get back, otherwise it's pointless. And build up a competitor strengths and weakness plan as well. And again, compare yours to theirs. So let's just put these, <coughs> sorry. The four main things of marketing is understanding where you are now. Remember early on I talked about really, really strong and firm foundations. Understanding where your business is now and all the financials, customer audit, competitor audit, etc., will tell you where you are now. Then you need to be considering, well, where do you want to be? Because if you don't have a goal or an objective, your business is going to be like the most beautifully decked out ocean-going liner with the most fantastic decor and, and furniture and paintings and lighting, the most brilliant Michelin-starred chefs, the most fantastic entertainment team, and all you're doing is going around Southampton docks because you're not going anywhere. So where is your ship going? And are you the captain of that ship or are you the oily rag in the engine room because you're the busiest therapist? And you're not spending time working on the business because you're spending time working in the business. So where do you want to be? Where is your goal? Think of yourselves like an Olympic athlete. You want to be standing there on the podium with a gold medal around your neck on the 12th of August, 2012. Then you work back of all the things you need to do and achieve to get you there. So where do you want to be? It might be in 10 years' time you want to retire and have a, a, a beautiful beach villa in the Bahamas. Okay, 10 years' time, how much money is that going to take? So in five years' time, how much money do you need realistically then to achieve that in 10 years' time? To be there in five years' time, where do you need to be in two and a half? To be there in two and a half, where do you need to be this time next year? And I don't want to sound like a, an insurance, a life insurance salesman, but what are your goals once you know what your goals are, you can then look at how you might get there. For example, coming here today, that was your goal. But there's many ways you could have got here. Train, tube, bus, cab, bike, skateboard. So you analyze them all. Yes, I'm going to come by car. Or yes, I'm going to come by train because it's going to be easier, blah, blah, blah. And you need to know when you've arrived. Okay, which brings us up to that second point. Somebody once said to me, I don't know whether she's still here actually, I thought I saw her earlier. She said to me once in the training course I did, I said, what's your aim? She said, I want to have the best salon in London. So I said, what do you mean by best? She said, well, the best. I said, best compared to what? Um, um, I, I, I don't know, I, I, I just want to be the best. What, best in customer care, best in treatments, best in sales, best in, you know, you need to be clear what it is that you want. And don't let's have these words that mean nothing, like best. Apart from when you're writing any evaluation on this lecture, then you can use the word best. 